We're going to do a little YouTube. What is it? Is that cool? Uh-huh. Um, uh, granting permission for us to be filmed. You see the camera right here? Of course, it's right in front of it's us. Correct. You see it. Well, I just said I, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people will say, Abby needs to agree to do the video. So I'm just yes. making sure you agree. So I'm sure. Now. Let's get started. Okay. Sorry. All right. So we were talking about Abby used to do gestures when she was younger, when she didn't have always language to describe something. Right. So there were several gestures that she had that I didn't know, but we were talking about them the other day. One of them, the biggest one, was a gesture that Abby did, and you just gave me the feeling words. Can you do the gesture or should I? It was something called the dolly dance. The dolly dance. You want me to demonstrate? Yeah, you can demonstrate. All right. She would clap her hands together, stick out her tongue, and shake her head like this. <laughs> My turn. Okay. She thinks it's funny. Okay. All right. But here's the deal. What did that mean to you? I felt angry. I felt frustrated. She felt angry. She felt frustrated. Any other words come to mind? It's the most funniest thing I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah. So we did the darling dance back to Abby so she could see what it looked like. And <laughs> she wasn't able to describe it. But now she can come back and tell me that those were the feelings connected. Angry, frustrated, didn't like the outcome of something. When you're looking at gestures with people with different levels of autism, sometimes these gestures have meaning, especially for kids who are struggling. What's the other gesture? When you didn't like somebody or something, what I'd did go, you do? Doop. She would look at somebody and go, <clears throat> doop, 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 doop. <laughs> It's what, kind of funny. It is funny now. We can laugh at it. Now it's, you know, it's really great. I what? know what it means. I know what it means, which is pretty cool. That's making me uncomfortable. That's what it meant to you. Yeah. Something's making you uncomfortable or you didn't like a certain person. <laughs> right. What? Other than that, I, let's, that's, is there any other gestures? I don't know. Do you think of any other ones? Well, those are the two big ones that you did. I don't know any one, other one ones. One thing you did that I thought was pretty brilliant was when Abby was mad at me um, or her brother, she would come up with different names for us. And me particularly, um, if, or I guess sometimes Ben, she'd call you doctor. Dr. Mom, Dr. Ben, because doctors were mean and gave her shots and caused pain, right? Yeah. And that's how you, when you And speaking of doctors, Ben has a friend who's in medical school. That's true. His friend and Cameron's in medical school. What about you? My friend Cortland's in medical school. So what, would we, what did we start off talking about here? Gestures. Right, now what are we talking about? Um, medical stuff, because when I was mad, I had to call someone they doctor or nurse means they should go to med school you didn't like going to the doctor's office so that's why when you were mad at me or you're mad at ben yeah you call people doctor yeah but i'm not going to medical school i don't want to yeah me neither not my cup of tea mm -hmm. idioms what's your phrases what's your favorite idiom there's so many good ones i raining cats and dogs but it's not raining men <laughs> <laughs> too bad what else um, also I have, whenever I go to Hurricane Harbor or Soak City, I'm cool as a cucumber. Because you're going down the slide? Yeah. And you're in the water. And it's calm, relaxed when there's a surprise about to happen. It's an idiom. And I tell people to break a leg when they do a performance. I say, break a leg, which mm -hmm. means good luck. Yep. You said that once to a pilot when we were getting on an airplane. You told him to break a leg. And I was kind of like... When was that? You did it one, one time when we went to Boston. You said break a leg to the pilot. All right. Sorry, yeah. my stinky sock. It just... <laughs> <laughs> just so everyone can see what she's doing. She's taking her sock off. And now you're playing with the sock. Here you go. <laughs> it's National Sock Day. What made you come up with that? I don't know. Oh my God.